or do you see the default WordPress dashboard? And most likely you agree that it's not the best you have ever seen. And if you're building sites for your customers, then this dashboard is basically useless and it doesn't add any value. Now, how about creating this dashboard? Instead of the clutter, you'll show only the information you would like to display, for example, your documentation, your video tutorials you have made for your clients, and you'll give them an option to send emails from the same dashboard. If this is a bit of overkill to you, then I'm going to show you another option. That is, instead of this dashboard, I'm going to create a separate menu called documentation. And under it, you'll display all the information you need. One more thing. This here is a simple WordPress page I have created using my editor. You can use Elementor or any other page builder if needed. But the content of this page is displayed either on the dashboard or under the documentation menu. Setting this up is really easy, so let's jump in. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you today, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child team's functions PHP file. Or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site. And you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your themes. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option. And this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin. But if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use code snippets plugin so I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. I'm going to give you two separate code snippets and the link to those snippets are in the video description. But pay attention that if you choose to use one, then just choose either this or that. Don't use both codes. Or if you do so, then you have to change the code a little bit. Otherwise you may end up with errors. But okay, let's give it the title. For example, new dashboard. Next, paste this snippet here, choose only run in administration area. And one more thing, take a look at the line 13 here, page slug documentation. What does it mean? You need to create a page that contains your new dashboard. I created this page here. And this is the slug documentation. I'm going to add it here, delete the first part, just leave the last one documentation. And now if I change and activate it, if I go to the dashboard, there's my new dashboard. But before I proceed, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, that is Kinsta, one of the top dogs in the managed WordPress hosting world. First, Finsta is the highest rated managed WordPress host on G2, and currently it holds an amazing 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. Believe me, that's a big deal. Kinsta is a premium service, and it's aimed at businesses that need fast, reliable and secure hosting. Currently, they've also got 37 global data centers, which means you can host your site closer to your visitors. And the closer the data center is to your actual location, the faster your site loads. Pretty cool, right? Next, let's talk about the security. And Kinsta got you covered with auto backups. They have 24-7 site monitoring. And they also integrate with Cloudflare for top-notch protection against attacks like DDoS. Plus, they have a global CDN to keep things running smoothly. Here's another fun fact about Kinsta. That is, Kinsta hosts more than 120,000 live websites. And those are from small businesses to huge enterprises. As you see from the screen, it includes also some big names like TripAdvisor, NASA and so on. So, if you're looking for a reliable, fast and secure hosting, then Kinsta might just be what you need. Now, a couple of other things. 
If you create the page, then as you see, my page doesn't have any header or footer. But if I change the link here, for example, let's just display the contact page, save it, refresh it, then it also displays all other stuff. Header, menus and stuff I don't like it to display. So fortunately, I'm using the Bloxy team and Bloxy team allows me to disable featured image, share box, header, footer. If I disable all those here, and change back my slug, save changes, refresh the dashboard, then it displays the content without the footer and the header. Since I don't want this page to be indexed by search engines, what else can I do? I can set the status of this to be private. And now if I save it and refresh it, it displays here. But if I take this URL and view it as a logged out user, it says nothing can be found. So. Another trick for you. I'm going to deactivate this one here and add a new snippet because I promised you two solutions. Let's give it a title, for example, documentation page. I'm going to paste this snippet here. Once again, take a look at this part here. Documentation, change the slug accordingly. Choose only run in administration area. Save changes and activate. Refresh it and you'll see there is a documentation menu. If I click on it, it opens up my page. If I go to the dashboard, the default WordPress dashboard is displayed. So yeah, nothing complicated here. Just create the page, use my snippet, use the correct slug and done. This way you can create whatever pages you would like to display over there. Now, if you're wondering what is the page builder or text editor I'm using, then it's a Spectra blocks, which allows me to create all sorts of stuff with a couple of clicks. It has an awesome design library and so on. I have made a separate video about why is it my favorite WordPress blocks editor. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.